that's the best movie I ever saw. I wish I could direct something like that. But I'd have a different ending. Casper. Whoa! What? What is it? Are you okay? Are you in crisis? I'm here for you. Just because I come home from school full of enthusiasm for change, you both assume it's a 911 situation? Yes. Cack. Pigeon Hold is a preteen. Someone get me Eve Plum's phone number. Well, I'll have you know the reason I'm so jazzed is because I have finally been recognized as an artist. Feast your eyes on this. That's fantastic! An exemplary metal shop creation bucket. Let's make a lamp out of it. Dad, I didn't make it in metal shop. I won it in the Friendship Paint a Friendly Painting Contest. And here's my masterpiece. The judges said it was very other and that I had a unique vision. Were you the only one who entered? Uh, how rude. I'll have you know, one half of our school and the janitor were considered. You are just jealous because I have artistic abilities and you don't. I am not jealous. Are too. Hardly. Totally. No way. Yes way. Get a clue. Get a reflection. What do you know about art? Lots. Prove it. Fine. Fine. I still think it would have made a fine lamp. There's a girl in the water. Go save her. I'm busy pumping up. You guys have known me longer than anyone. You know me better than anyone. Isn't it obvious to you that I have artistic potential? No. Oh, out of my way. My favorite show is about to start. You only like it because it stinks. Well, yeah. It's time for America's Finest Home Movies with your host, that visionary of VCRs, Bob Saggy! Hello, folks. This is a program where you get to showcase your talents as a movie director. Next week, the finals for the year's best home movie on the theme, A Day in the Life of Your Family. The winner gets a check for one million dollars and this handsome trophy. That's it. A day in the life of my family. My artistic opus. How in the netherworld am I going to get my uncles to agree to be in my movie? I would convince them to... Marilyn. This is the afterlife, ain't it, boys? Whoa, the poo-poo platter. <laughs> huh? Huh? Hey, watch it, bulb head! <sighs> Sorry, Uncle Stretch. I, I just came to tell you I'm gonna be a movie director. <laughs> I've written a great script about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. You're gonna need a strong actor to play the romantic lead opposite. Marilyn. Marilyn? That's right. Marilyn. <laughs> what, chum? Did you know that we's members of SAG, the Spook Actors Guild? We'll do the movie for scale. Great! We'll start tomorrow. Okay, people, work with me here. Are we ready to make movies? Hey, bulb head, what's with all this powder? It's kind of itchy. Yeah, it makes me want to sneeze. <laughs> it's for the movie. You know, ghosts don't show up on film. Oh, yeah, I, I know that. Okay, scene. Enter on cue. Scene one, take one. Morning. The peacefully sleeping Casper is rudely awakened by grumpy uncle. Your cue and act natural. Oh, Casper! Time to get up! Marilyn's gonna be here soon! Oh, that's not the line. 
You're supposed to scream. Where's my breakfast bowl, then? Ah, 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 oh, what I do for art. Okay, let's move on to the next scene. Okay, we gotta get more artistic. I want you to think urban angst. Think anxiety. Think Woody. Woody? <laughs> Woody, the nervous one. Speaking of nervous, I'm nervous that Marilyn ain't showing up and somebody's making us look like maroons. No, uh, she'll be here. Trust me. Work with me here, people. Lights. More lights. Action. Is life like a song for Marilyn? Or, or no, wait. Maybe more a symphony. A, a symphony, yeah. A dark, brooding, mala. Oh, the inhumanity. It's all just so random. What makes an afterlife worth living? You gotta wonder what it all smells like. <laughs> uh, okay, um. <clears throat> I could be, um, experiencing, uh, like, a. Uh, <clears throat> Real anxiety attack here. Cut! Print! Wow, that felt really artistic. Pretentious, even. Artistic schmartistic. We want Marilyn. Uh, can't talk now. I've got a vision here. Next setup, exterior day. Scene three, take one. Chores. The resilient Casper is coerced into graveyard work by pestering uncles. What is this stuff? Uh, it's neon gas. What makes you glow for the camera? All right. For this scene, I want him. I want now. I want part MTV, part Terry Quantantino. All set, Boyle? Ready when you are, CGI. Roll Go! Not exactly Pulp Friction, was it? Let's try it again. I don't think so, Bulbhead. You better find yourself some stunt spooks. We've been powdered, painted, and pumped full of gas for you. Now you bring us Marilyn right now. You hear? Or we'll show you what a real director's cut is. Uh, well, uh, Marilyn's due any minute, so you guys better get ready to meet her. Yeah. I've got to get more video tape. <laughs> Tonight, the finals in our day in the life contest. Oh, man. Hello? Acme Instant Delivery? I've got a rush job. Acme Instant Delivery. Uh, we're just getting over the flu in here, so I better slide the package under the door. Oh, thanks, mister. Oh, um, oh and please hurry. Well, that's all the entries, so... Hold on. It seems we have a last-minute entry from a viewer named Casper. Let's take a look. Is life like a song you for gotta birds? wonder what it all smells like. Hey, short she'd remember to focus. Yes, well, Casper must be a foreign viewer, because that certainly looked like a foreign film. Now, let's pick a winner. First, the Morgan family with Baby oh, Beth at Dinner oh, Time. Oh, it's fun. Oh, oh. Next, the Roberts family with Matera meets Grandpa in the garden. <laughs> I'm falling and I can't get up. Finally, Casper with uh, whatever. It's all just I so what it all smells like. <laughs> well, at least we know who lost. Uh -huh. Pat was right. I don't have any artistic talent. Casper, what's wrong? Cat, I admit it. Admit what? I'll get it. Acme instant delivery. Hmm, that's 
for you. How do you know? Is it addressed, dear loser? No, but there's a note. We the judges at the Moondance Film Festival viewed your recent abstract and enigmatic film. You have been unanimously voted this award. Congratulations. Were you the only one who entered? I won this fair and square. Big deal. Jealous? Am not. R2. Maybe not. Okay, I admit that you are artistic. A little. Thanks. So are you. <clears throat> sort of. Uh, hi, guys. Don't hide me, you phony phantom Fellini. You lied to us. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You told us Marilyn Monroe was going to be in the movie. No, I just said Marilyn. And there she is, right about now. Hi, boys. <laughs> That's my old kindergarten teacher, Marilyn Krupp. Thanks for the candy. Now, how about a little sugar? It with poster workers. Hmm. Seems that the doc could already be a millionaire. Pump! Water bill, pump! Phone bill, pump! Gas bill, pump! Gas bill. Be my guest. Thank you. <gasps> Sometimes I wonder why I bothered getting out of my grave. Holy cannoli! Holy mackerel! Holy rollers, can you give me an amen? How about an A? Oh! The ghost father is coming for a visit tonight at midnight. So what's the... What? The ghost father is the master of mayhem. The ringleader of riots! <laughs> Whatever. As long as he leaves Cat and Dr. Harvey alone. Oh my gosh! Remember the time in Jersey when we failed to spook a fight and fleshies off his teeth? Yeah. It was Titans! We gotta scare them flesh sack bone bags out of here. Unless you wanna get leaned on by the ghost father. No, no way! way! Okay, boys, we'll take the kitchen first. The dock is an easy target. Then we'll spookify the kid. What the heck is that? Casper? What the heck do you think you're doing? Stopping your dark and evil plants? Oh, yeah? Well, how about instead you visit the dock and evil moon? <laughs> Interesting. Ghosts are from Venus, fleshies are from Mars. And cheese, anyone? You are blocking, not shocking. Uh, note to me, need to confront Fatso's hauntaholic tendencies. Sour milk alive! Right. That is nothing more than stinking thinking. No, it's an expression of my lactose intolerance. <laughs> No to me. My mouthwash for stinky. I'm from Venus and Mars, bone bag! <laughs> Stretch, you guys are an open book tonight. Pun intended. Can't let my uncles get away with this. I can't let them scare Cat and Dr. Harvey. I'll save you, Dr. Harvey! Uh, leave Doc alone! Uh, huh? Hi. Uh... You are obviously transferring your anger towards your uncles into those curtains. It's just my uncle's planning, so you'd... Because the ghost father is... Oh my gosh, cat! All ghosts acting odd it must be a full moon. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it is. There's that kid. 
Okay, my creepy group. Let's just boo it! <laughs> What do you say? Head trip! Oh. <laughs> Real adult speed bumps. <laughs> if this is a maturity test, you're failing big time. <laughs> that does it! Is she okay? Check for yourself, bald head. Cat! Hi. Glad to see my uncles didn't. Uh, hey, isn't my breath minty fresh? That's it! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you all make like ghosts and drop dead? Now what are we gonna do? The ghost father will be leaning on us in five minutes. Couldn't scare either one of them. <gasps> Maybe we ain't the spooky spooks we're spooked up to be. <gasps> this stinks. <laughs> uh, you boys seen Cat? You mean Queen of the Ghostbuster Banshees? Yeah, she's in a room, Doc. Oh, I know. Giving up the horn is dramatic. But guys... I'm here for you. We'll stay right here at Whipstaff forever. Good night, Stretch, Stinky, Fatso, Casper. Good night, Dr. Harvey. Hey, I hear you're the queen of the Ghostbuster Banshees. <laughs> 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 Hey, come on, troops. You want to get leaned on? We got five minutes left. We already tried everything. <laughs> yeah, they won't scare. So, if we can't scare the fleshies out, we'll make ghosts out of them. Yeah, if we can't stink them, they can join us. <laughs> hmm, a ghostly quintet. <laughs> A minute. What are you guys gonna do? What we should have done in the movie, short shape. Wait! Oh, ah, right, I ain't gonna hold of you. I got ah. Good night. <gasps> Casper, you're interrupting one of those father-daughter bonding moments. But my uncles, they're planning to make ghosts out of you because. I don't know. Maybe I should have taken the A train. Oh. Hello, Hello, Ghost, Ghost Father. Father. Some fellas maintain you guys are a pain in the neck. I personally have a much lower opinion of you. Ghost Father, we tried to get rid of the flesh. He's honest. We did. Uh, we boot him. We shoot him. We double dipsy dude him. Nobody's scaring any fleshies. The Harveys are my friends. You scare them out over my dead ghost body. Say, for a fellow with no internal organs, you got a lot of guts. Nice kid. I love them, especially the cheeks. They're very pinchable. Uh, you, you, you don't want we should get rid of the fleshies, ghost father? Fleshies, smashies. It's a kind of gentler world. You gotta move with the times. You'll learn. When you've been dead as long as I have, and that's a long time, you get colder and wiser. You learn to relax. So relax. Yeah, guys. Chill. How about I meet your fleshy friends? They don't worry about them. They live on the wrong side of a one-trick mind. You mean we did all that spoken? For nothing.
coffee, ghost water. Thanks. You know what I love about you, Stretch? Nothing. And Stinky's not a complete loss. He makes one heck of a bad example. And Fetzel. Take it from me, there's nothing wrong with him that reincarnation wouldn't cure. When he was young, I thought of breaking him in two. But who'd want two of him? But seriously, here's the three ghosts who started at the bottom and sank. I could live with this. Uh -huh.